Hello there, my Android trainees. In this video, we're going to talk about a term that is used very frequently, right? It's thrown around a lot of times, correct? And that term is called business excellence. But the questions here are, what does business excellence truly mean? How do we even do it? And how can we say that our own company is truly business excellent? Hi, my name is Mentor Myron Santana, and I'm here to share with you the characteristics that make any company, big or small, truly business excellent. And after knowing all of these, you can even refer to them every time you want to design and then practice or leverage your own business excellence activities that are aimed at correcting and improving the way you do business. Let's do this. Let's go through each one of them, shall we? Number one, business excellence is all about alignment. There has to be a permanent alignment between our company and our employees and vice versa. We, the top management, should always make that sincere and best effort to continuously and consistently orient them on our shared vision, mission, and values. Come to think of it, if our employees are always made to know, understand, appreciate, and apply those shared statements, every time they report to the office, they always have that inspiration and motivation to ensure that what they do at work, their work activities, are always geared towards or contributory to the achievement of our vision, the carrying out of our mission, which helps achieve the vision, and the living by our organizational and people core or work values. Once again, if an organization is all about alignment, it has business excellence. Number two, business excellence is all about differentiation. I always tell companies that I consult or that consult me, okay? Don't <laughs> compete with your competition. Make your competition compete with you. So in anything that you do in your business model and the way you go about things and the way you operate your business, Always be the trailblazer. Always be the pioneer. Always be the activator. Always be the enabler. Always be the pace setter. You need to be going to places they haven't even gone to yet. You need to be thinking of, doing, acting on, or deciding on matters that they haven't made an initiative to do so yet. By doing so, you become a differentiator. You become a cut above the rest. You stand out in the industry you belong to. Therefore, to go about this, we need to leverage progressive creativity and innovation. We need to design or create a new wheel, creativity, that others will be patterning themselves from. And on the other hand, we need to be able to reinvent the current wheel, innovation that is, that others will try to you know, emulate or copy. Once again, if an organization is all about differentiation, then it is truly business excellent. Number three, business excellence is all about continuous improvement. I always tell organizations I collaborate with, what doesn't change us, doesn't challenge us. Vice versa, what doesn't challenge us, doesn't change us. So we have to look into, and we have to make it a constant habit, our programs, projects, process, and policies that are embedded in our human, financial, and even non-financial or material resources. And we, we should be addicted to, or there should be an unending journey to see which among these programs, projects, policies, and processes can be what? Corrected, revised, replaced, enhanced, aligned, timed, or if and when necessary, eliminated. So that we are able to deliver our uh, you know, products and services with our best and optimum effort. Once again, if a company is all about continuous improvement, it is truly business excellent. Number four. Business excellence is all about overcoming challenges. It should be a culture in an organization to be addicted to problems, or maybe not addicted to problems, but addicted to solving them. But the thing is, we need to have the right mentality towards solving problems properly. When we solve problems, we don't solve problems because they are merely an output or outcome of the real problems. The real problems that we need to be paying attention to or focusing our strength on would be what caused them. So we need to be analyzing all the time, relentlessly that is, the root causes of our organizational and people problems. And another wrong tendency or bad habit that we need to stop doing would be, you know, just considering analytics as merely a visual aid, a report, a requirement, a record. No, analytics is beyond analysis. Apart from just analyzing them or referring to them as our records or reports, we need to be adjusting to them. We need to be basing our actions on them. By doing so, we truly become, what? A company that is improving all the time. Once again, if an organization is all about overcoming challenges, the way I explained it, then you are truly business 
excellent. And last but not least, guys, business excellence is all about customer centricity or customer centeredness. Remember that our customers are a very critical element of our company's success through strategies and techniques. So if we're going to put our customers at the center of all of our efforts, then we become truly successful. Remember this mantra or principle that I always share with organizations I work with. Customers may not always be right, but they always have the right to be treated right. Remember that our customers are the lifeblood of our business, so everything that we are doing inside and outside of our company should be to them, for them, with them, and about them. There you go, guys. If a company wants to be truly business excellent, then it should be all about customer centricity. These are the characteristics that make an organization truly business excellent. So my question to you guys is this. Do you do them? If not, try giving them a go and I'll wait for your successful stories on how you have become a business excellent organization. Once again, if you consider this uh, content very valuable and you believe that this needs to reach a lot of people out there, please like, comment, and share around. And if you want to convert this talk about business excellence to a, a training program, just give my team a call and we will work with you every step of the way to ensure that you experience business excellence in your organization. See you around. Bye.